Hey y'all. <laughs> it's a new day. I just want to check in and just share this moment with y'all. There's nothing specific that I want to share. It's just the space that I'm in right now. I feel so grateful, y'all. I just, my heart is so full. And it's crazy because I swear, y'all, like literally last Tuesday, literally a week from yesterday, I was so emotional, so sad almost, which is weird because it was like one of the most important, amazing days of my life, but I was so sad. I remember my daughter like, mom, no. Like she literally was in tears because she said, you've worked so hard for this moment. You've worked so hard. I've watched you sacrifice so much over the last three years for this moment. And yet you're so negative and so sad today. You're not happy. I just, she was so upset to see me so upset. And I, I don't know, it was just a crash, y'all. But here I am a week later and I am filled. My heart is so full. I'm so happy. I have no idea what's going on behind the scenes when it comes to my film. I don't know. I don't know that I'm getting a lot of <laughs> subscribers on my, my website and I know the link that we send out directs everyone straight to the movie. Um, literally, they can purchase the movie from that link. So, um, that's that's all I know. But other than that, I have no idea. But I do see, I don't know, it's not even about that. Like, honestly, I think it's just, I'm just, I'm free. I feel so free. I feel so purposeful. I'm in awe of God. I'm just in awe. My heart is so full. I can't even, there are no words to describe it, y'all, honestly. Like, I think this is what a million dollars would feel like. <laughs> <laughs> if if I could, you know, I don't know what a million dollars feel like, but I'm thinking it might feel like this. Like, if, and it's not even about money because you got to think like there are millionaires who are sad and depressed, right? But I would imagine if you had all the money in the world and your life was good and you weren't, you didn't need anything else, you had a good relationship with your family, you had a good relationship with your children, maybe you had a great partner, you have a great career you live a life of purpose you're healthy you love yourself you feel beautiful like and everything is just well in your life in your world i think it would feel like this I, like you know and i can't say i have all i don't have all those things because yeah i don't have all those things right now obviously but this piece that i have right now in this moment I don't think I would trade it for anything. <laughs> There's no monetary amount. So, anyway, y'all, I'm literally sitting here. My daughter is literally at her orientation for her new job right now. And I've been seeing patients all day, being purposeful, making an impact in people's worlds. Kids, I see, I work with children, adolescents, children, adolescents, um, and parents, you know. And tonight I'm working my dissertation. I worked on it last night and I thought of, thought of my grandparents and my aunt who are no longer here in this world, but I feel like they're proud of me and I get to share their last name with the world. I'll be Dr. Burston in a matter of weeks. And my movie's out in the world, my story, and it's making an impact in the world. My children are good and happy. My mom, I talked to her this morning. You know, like, my family's good. I feel supported by my family. There's no anger and animosity. Like, I just, <sighs> financially, I feel good. I'm, you know, stable, working toward my goals. I feel good. And this is what I would want for other people. Because life doesn't have to be perfect. You just you just want to be stable. Like, I don't know if y'all can relate to that. Like, for me, I've gone so many years of being anxious and stressed about the smallest things. Like, 
paying a bill, if you think about it, that shouldn't be causing that much stress. It shouldn't you shouldn't allow money or paying a bill to cause you to literally lose time off of your life because you're so overwhelmed and stressed. But like that was my life for so many years and like right now in this space, I don't feel that. And I'm so grateful. And the enemy thought he had me last week, baby. Because, babe, when I tell you, I tell y'all I was on a spiritual attack because, yeah. And I feel like Job. <laughs> but I'm like, God, first of all, baby, please don't be putting me to the test. Because, listen, I, I'm not saying I'm going to fail. But, baby, please, I ain't got time. Okay? But, anyway, I feel like he did. Like, you can test her. I can trust her. But, God, you can't trust me. No matter, it was, this has been a challenging, hard process and journey, but I showed up, y'all. I'm, I think now I'm feeling a sense of pride, like, uh, just feeling really proud of myself. Because I did what God asked me to do. And it wasn't easy, and it was so lonely and isolating. And it took so much out of me, but I did it. And I think now I'm starting to feel it, like, the feeling that I probably should have had last week, or I thought I would have had last week, now I'm feeling it now. I feel fulfilled. And it's not about money, because I, like I said, I have no idea how many people have purchased this film or anything. I don't know. My hope is that we just make enough to make, and I'm not limiting God at all, but I just want to be able to make my next movie. That's all. I, without having to pay out of pocket for it this time. That, that's the, the goal for me. And, you know, be able to support other filmmakers and help them make their films. Like, that's, that's what I'm focused on. Financially, I have my own goals to come from my own income from work and stuff like that. So, but... So that, that sense of peace doesn't come from that. It's just... <sighs> mm. Yeah. God is good. Anyway, I just want to encourage someone today to show up for yourself. Show up for yourself. Mm. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I'll see you soon.